Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk nails, all about nails. Um, I, in my previous videos I had mentioned um, if you guys wanted to see a nail video because I had talked about um, the polish I had gotten and then I was talking about briefly the type of system that I have on my nails and a lot of you were really interested which surprised me but that's cool. Um, so I'm just going to briefly talk about my nails. Um, I do have the SNS nail system which is really kind of I would say new to the nail community. Um, I would really just heard about it when I moved down to Florida. I nail place I was going to used it and I had no nails at the time. You know, I had taken them off, you know, during the move and they, you know, asked me if I wanted to try it and I did. Um, to give you a little bit of a backstory on my nails, I had had acrylic since I was 16 years old. I had them forever for years and years and years. Um, one day I did take them off just to kind of, you know, they were breaking and lifting so I took them off and my regular nails were so damaged. Like the nail person I was going to at the time um, probably was so heavy handed with the drill. I actually had drill marks on the bed of my regular nail and it was terrible. They were just so brittle, so weak. So I kept the acrylics off for a good year. Um, I didn't have anything. I just used like the heck out of the OPI, you know, Nail Envy. Um, and just really got my nails back into shape. And then of course, you know, when it, you get that itch again, you know, it's fun to get a manicure or whatever, but you want your nails to always look look nice. Um, so I went back and I got acrylics again and then I realized I was allergic to acrylics. I could not keep them on my nails. They were just lifting constantly. So every time I would go get a fill, they'd end up taking them all off and then charge me for a new set, which really wasn't cool. Now, I don't know if it was just that place that I had been going to that their, you know, maybe their products weren't the greatest, but it, it was weird. So I switched from acrylic to gel and um, I really had no problems with gel. It was, you know, you, you bake under the UV lights, which really actually, I know there are a lot of studies saying that it's not good. Um, it promotes skin cancer because it's it's still a UV light. You know, like you don't want to tan in a tanning bed because of the UV rays. It, you're ba basically baking your hands under it as well. But the place I did go to did provide pr protective little things. So if you do have gel, just make sure they put the little things on your hands. So when you're under there, it's going to shield you a little bit. Um, or put, and definitely put sunscreen on your hands before you go. That way it's, it's going to you know, protect you, but still, you're still, it's like direct contact almost. Um, and so then I had gel. Then, like I said, I was in the middle of moving my nails. I knew they were never going to last. I was moving furniture boxes. It was nuts. I was like, there's no way. So I ended up taking them off right before then. That way I didn't like actually hurt myself. Um, and then I came, moved, unpacked everything. And then I went and got, I, you know, just there was like a local nail place I went to. And um, like I said, they introduced me to the SNS system. Basically what the SNS system is, is an organic powder and it's um, a dipping process. It kind of reminds me of reminiscent of the old, um, what, what were they, silk wrap days? If you guys remember them, like the little things they used to glue on, like I'm going back. Um, but that's what it reminds me of. They paint, you know, they, they treat your nails just like as if you were getting, you know, acrylic or, or gel, you know, they will, you know, drill and buff and whatever. And they put on like a, a base and then they dip your nail and then they put the base on again. You really you should have them dipped at least twice. Um, the first place I, I did go to and I went there for a while, she was only dipping them once and I was really having a lot of breakage because it's, it's not that strong because it is an organic powder. Um, so you just, especially like for me, I use my hands a lot. Um, so they're going to, they're going to, they're gonna break. Um, this one actually broke. I just had them done last week and this one broke. Um, I think I was trying to get something open for Spike and it just, it it broke. That, my fault, not anyone else's. But um, anyway, so then they dip it and then they put a, another bonder, I wanna say, over it. Um, and they really will last. Now, the SNS system, I have just clear natural color SNS and then they paint it with my color. Um, you can get pink and white with the SNS system and you can also get a SNS color powder. Um, my mom had that, um, where it's like different powder, like what they would dip your nails in, it's actually colors. So if you want black, red, pink, whatever, um, you can do that as well. The only thing with that, I can't, can, I can't stay with one color. My mom, definitely, she like has like one shade she likes to wear. So for her, it was perfect. For me, not a chance. I, some days I want black, some days I want pink, some days I want nude. I can't, can, I can't commit to that. And then if you get like a darker shade, like she did, she, you really, the only thing you could do over it would be like a black, which she would never do. Um, but whereas if you get like the pink 
powder. Of course, if you decided you wanted to do dark, you could. It, you would just have to take them all off and start over if you wanted to go lighter. So that's, I mean, if you are the kind of person that you like you know, your certain shades, that would something that would be an option for you. Um, but if you're very indecisive and you like to change it up a lot like me, not gonna work. Uh, but all in all, they all work the same. The powders still work the same. Um, I haven't gotten pink and white. I haven't had pink and white in a very long time. Um, I just got used to having color, you know, and if I want something neutral, I can. Um, basically, you could just treat these like regular, um, like acrylics or gels, where you can, you know, just have regular polish and you just sit and dry, and it, it works for me. Um, do I find that it, it, less i find that they are a little bit more fragile than acrylics or gel only because it's not as harmful maybe but i wouldn't go back to any of the others because i know like i've had nails pop off um for whatever reason like if i'm really due for a fill and i hit it it will come off and i notice my nails underneath are not as damaged as they would be if i had you know like acrylic or gel so it's it is good for your nails if you're gonna get your nails done it is something good also if you're a mom and you have you know younger girls you know like in that teen you know teenage age that they want to get their nails done but perhaps you're not comfortable with letting them get you know acrylic or um gel i would definitely say to look into this um it is a very good product i, I believe me i'm not sponsored by them it's just something that i have on my nails um and how you find it, I will link their website down below. It kind of gives you, if you really want to read more in depth about it, I'm not like a professional on it. I just know that's what I get on my nails. So what I would suggest is um, Googling it as well and seeing, like I think on the website there might be a store locator that'll find it, but I would just tell you to search SNS and a bunch of nail salons will come up. Because when I had to change nail salons um, for various reasons, I found one that's actually really close to me as well that, um, what is with this piece of hair, <laughs> um, that will, that, that does it. So, I mean, if you're driving around, a lot of times they should have a sign in the window that says, you know, we do S and S just give it a try. You know, if you've never had it before, if you're looking for a change, try it. It's, it really is nail changing. If that's what you want to call it only because, um, it, it is much healthier for your nails and, and you don't have like that acrylic and you will have that smell sometimes like I, Sometimes it gets to me, um, but this really doesn't have that, and it's a it's a fairly quick process, a fairly fairly quick fill process, because um, basically they're dipping your nails, they're not you know trying to sculpt anything, and then they really just will file it out. Um, I just have basic you know square nails, um, and of course as I use my nails they'll, they'll dull down, and of course on the tips you you would see that it might come off, on, but that's with anything. Um, so that is really it. It's pretty much all about my nails and all about the system. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll definitely try to, you know, answer them. Um, but really go to their website because that will really give you more in depth on the ingredients, the products, everything. Um, and that's it. So I will see you guys in my next video. I hope this was helpful. I hope it made sense. But again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.